good morning. So it is officially the next morning and we have left the village. So actually this morning we got up um, around seven, an hour behind schedule. And actually it was a really good sleep so I can't complain, like really, really good. I just passed out completely and didn't really wake up until my alarm went off this morning. It was a good night, it wasn't that late. Um, the shampoo and conditioner and like whatever brand they use is from New York, a New York brand, in the showers is incredible. Like that hotel I would definitely recommend. We are actually on our way, we've left the village and we are officially on our way back. We're working our way back pretty much to, like we're doing a train wreck, we're going to like an old train wreck um, site right now and then we're gonna hit like a waterfall and another park. And then we, after that, within the, the Whistler area, then we're going to go and head to the island. So pretty much the majority of today is going to be traveling. We have to take a ferry across and then we have to do a lot of driving to get to the ferry and then after the ferry as well. So it's gonna be a long day of traveling. This morning we got up and we went for breakfast. I had a, Actually, I've never seen this before and I've been craving it, so I had to get it. A chocolate raspberry muffin. Never seen that before, but it was okay. It wasn't as, let's say, moist as I would like, but it was decent, so I can't complain. And I had some, let's say, home fries, like they called it bricky potatoes. So they were okay, a little dry, but they were good. Oh, look at the Tim Hortons, look how cute it is. It's like a cabin. We are on our way to the train wreck site. Oh my god, I'm on the friggin' edge of the cliff. Oh my god. So pretty. I didn't know this was gonna be here at the train wreck. This is so cool. I like how they use like the neon colors. Come on. Go inside there. So we made it and it said the GPS said it was probably like an hour hike. It wasn't. It wasn't too bad at all. It's actually it was super quick. Look at this piece of hair. Oh my god. It was super quick. It was probably like 30 minutes and we actually took a detour to see the falls which wasn't part of the trail so that was nice but yeah look look behind me this is just one there's like a million or not a million i'm exaggerating probably like seven pieces of the train spread throughout but it looks super cool oh my god that guy's on top of the train that's so cool So I'm gonna try to climb up this ladder to get like a good picture up on top. So we'll see how it goes. So we just left the train wreck site it was pretty cool and it wasn't bad like the hike 
whatever it was really not that long so that was perfect because we are tight on time we were planning on going to the Brandywine Falls but because there was like a not to, it's not a waterfall and nothing like close to Brandywine, Brandywine Falls there at the train wreck um, but there was like a water some type of waterfall right so we didn't feel like we had to go to Brandywine Falls especially being tight on time we were planning actually on going to I don't even know how to say it Garbaldi or something whatever the lake is called um, today but I just called to find out more information because we're tight on time so I have to be on point with that and the guy said it was about a five hour hike one way one way so say total 10 hours and we don't have 10 hours just to play with today oh my god look at this view look at that oh my gosh yeah so we can't do that today um i would have liked to done that hike but that's like for a day like a full day that's going to take the full day we don't have the full day so we plan to stop along the highway somewhere to see the lake um, along the way and not actually do the hike. I don't think it's going to be that, that Gervaldi or whatever. I don't know how to say it. I'll put the name down here on the screen. Um, but it's not actually that lake I don't think it is. It's um, another one. But the view is like stunning, like breathtaking. So we're going to stop along the highway to do that. Um, and then continue on because we have a long journey to Safino and that's where we're headed today. So uh, right now we are just driving, gonna see what we can see on the side of the road and go to the ferry terminal. So we stopped on the highway. I don't know if you guys can hear me just because of this view. Like look how stunning. I think there's snow up there to be honest. Look how pretty these mountains are over there. Up here. Oh my god. We just stopped so, like I said, we <laughs> stopped on the side of the road quickly, just like a three minute thing, just to see the view because it's absolutely breathtaking. And now we're continuing on our way. Oh, that was a nice double chin. <laughs> um, yeah, now we're continuing on our way to the ferry port because we have to catch the 125 ferry and it's 12 13 and when we get there i don't know if there's going to be a lineup how long it's going to take we don't have tickets so we have to get tickets and um i want to grab some lunch there as well because i'm starving <laughs> Good news. Um, I just tried to book a reservation online, or not online, but through the phone for the ferry. You hear, the, you hear him? I'm on the phone because I can't get a hold of these guys. But I tried to book a reservation for the ferry to hold our spot because we're like, the ferry leaves at 125, we're getting there at 118. So I tried to call them can't get a hold of them so I'm still on the line for like the last 20 minutes but I tried to book a reservation and they said they're they have no spots so I went online to book it for like another time slot today they have no time slots for today and we need to get to Tofino like like now we have an Airbnb book for tonight in Tofino so I don't know what we're going to do so we're gonna pull up there really quick right now we're like six minutes away and talk to them and see what we can do. Hopefully we can get standby. Hopefully they'll put us on that. I don't know what's gonna happen. So we made it on 2.45. It's now 1.36. We didn't end up making, we legit pulled up to the thing and then he cut us off and said no more it has to go to the next like we have to take the next one um but it's okay at least we got on i was so worried like my stress level was through that roof because i was scared we weren't gonna get on so we're here 
we made it. We're just going across over here to the village because I'm starving, like super hungry. Oh my God, look at the seal. Oh my God. That's fucking, look at the seal. Oh my gosh. Holy. Where is it going? Just seeing that seal right now reminded me of when I was in Ireland and every day in Ireland there's like by the water there's this seal that comes up to shore because the fishermen always feed it fish at the same times every single day and his name's Sammy and it reminded me of that and I cannot wait to go back to Ireland next year that's a fun fact Sammy the seal in Ireland is a thing it's a real thing or something over here but look how pretty it is and I'm crossing my fingers I cross my fingers that we see some world so we made it on the ferry we're here right now over there. and actually remember I was saying earlier that we were like oh I didn't think I don't think I said it but we were like the first car right so we would be the first car going on and we would be the first car coming off which I was like yes and then we went to go get food I got a blend of coffee and pizza and <laughs> yeah we came back and every single car had gone around us our car was the last car so I don't know how we made it on but we just made it on so like someone's looking out for us but anyways yeah we made it we're all good like when we got there if there was going to be any restaurants or food that we could get for dinner um if not we would obviously have to stop on the way not that there's much on the way but yeah so i asked and they responded pretty much um i'll put like a, a screenshot up over here pretty much of what they said and yeah, so they overbooked, let's say double booked. And um, yeah, I guess the other people had already checked in. So we're kind of like out of luck. Now I called around and there's like hotels around there. Like, I don't know, like hotels or like accommodations. Pretty much where you can stay. The cheapest is like $400 for one night. One night. And the other Airbnb I booked for out there for tomorrow night is... $300 or three something like maybe I don't know three something so I'm not spending like $800 for two nights like I'm not doing that, that doesn't make any sense so pretty much I think tonight 
we are sleeping in the car. I don't know how that's gonna work. We don't have no pillows, we don't have no blankets. So it looks like a track pants and sweater kind of night. Like, I don't know what, what we're gonna do. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. But on the bright side, on the way here, um, I stopped, well, we stopped at this like old country market that has goats on the roof. And that was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, last time I came here, I didn't go there. I didn't know about it, but this time I made sure like I stopped there just because like it's pretty cool. It's only like a five minute thing, it's quick. But um, yeah, now we're headed to Tofino. We're about two hours away and the sun is still out. It was supposed to be rainy today and the sun is still out. No sign of rain yet, which is like amazing because the view is incredible. Last time I was coming here, it was super overcast and like rainy. So, I mean, it was still nice, but this is 10 times better. So very thankful for that. But yeah, so stay tuned for the rest of the night to see how, where we end up. And I forgot to say, when we were on the ferry, we saw a whale. I was looking out front, like we were sitting, we went outside at first and then we came inside and we were just sitting watching. And I was looking ahead and I was like, oh my god, I think I see a whale. So I kept watching and the whale came out and up and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I like dreamt of this. Like this is, I was like, oh my god, I want to see a whale, I want to see a whale. Even last year when I came, I saw a whale but it was not nothing like that. Like I saw. Crazy. Oh my god. That's incredible. Now all I need to see is a bear. That's the next thing on my list. Um, but yeah, I saw a whale in like, oh my god, it was the most beautiful thing ever. Like, so incredible. So big. And he like, I don't know what it's called, but like he puffed out the water. Oh my god. So we finally got somewhere to park because we've spent the last probably like an hour and a half, if not longer, trying to search for somewhere to park. And while doing so, because it's a, like, I guess a huge thing we read on the internet that you can't park and sleep in your car in Tofino because I guess the cops will come around. And literally while we were parked somewhere trying to figure out where we can park, the cops came twice. I think we saw like two or three cops come and one of them actually stopped behind us and shined the light in the car looking I guess later on they were gonna come back if we were still there um, but yeah so thankfully enough the girl whose Airbnb, Airbnb that we were supposed to stay at I messaged her and she let us sleep in the driveway so I'm just gonna sleep like right here <laughs> and that's pretty much it. We're not doing anything else for the rest of the night. Pretty much going to bed and have an early morning in the morning. Not that we would get really much sleep tonight, but hey, the Airbnb tomorrow will be better. But thanks for coming back for another video. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.